the idea of the Savior feeling that he was alone, probably to some extent in the garden when, when his disciples slept through the experience uh, with him. He asked if they could just stay with him one hour, and they were pretty tired. They could hardly do that. And then on the cross, he cries out, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? feels he's alone there. But certainly in terms of that relationship with his Father in heaven, I'm of the personal opinion that God was never, ever, ever closer to his only begotten Son than in that moment. However close that was, the Father was nowhere but at his side. But the Savior had to feel alone because the whole nature of the atonement is that he had to carry the sins and the sorrows and the suffering and the sickness of all mankind on that one little set of shoulders. So he had to feel that he was alone because he needs to know how you feel when you feel alone. He had to go the full distance because there are lots of times when we feel we're alone. There are a lot of times when we feel we're abandoned. There are a lot of times when we feel the heavens are sealed. Well, he had to feel that too, and so he did. He was allowed to. It would have been a, an incomplete experience. It would have been an incomplete atonement uh, if he hadn't experienced the whole gamut of sorrow and frustration and, and loneliness.